Then today's tutorial is going to be on the Anne Hathaway look, which is sort of an amalgamation between the Allure photo shoot that she did recently and the um, look from The Dark Knight Rises. I'm taking the eyes from the Allure magazine because all the way through the film of The Dark Knight Rises she has got a dark eyeliner but you can't quite see the detail what's going on so I've taken the eyes from there and then obviously the red lip which she wore throughout the whole of the film I've taken from there. As well. This look is quite easy to achieve as well so I hope you have a go at home and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay so first of all I'm going to start with the Clinique Even Better Foundation in the colour Ivory. I'm going to spread this all over the face with the fingers. Using a Real Technique stippling brush, I am going to buff this into the skin because Anne's got a really flawless look so I want to get in all of the pores. So I'm going to take the Collection 2000 cover up stick in Natural Beige. I'm just going to place this on my chin where I've got a little bit of a breakout. Then I'm going to go to the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque and using my ring finger I'm just going to pat out underneath the eye to get rid of any blue or purple that you have there. I've got quite bad bags at the moment so hopefully this will hide this. Onto the Creamy Concealer in Ivory by Bobbi Brown and I'm just going to take this around the nose and this is going to get rid of any redness that is left there. I'm also going to take this down the centre of the nose as a highlight. In the Collection 2000 Press Powder in Daydream and the Chanel Number no. 1 Powder Brush. Push this product into the skin and this is just going to get rid of any shine without disturbing the foundation underneath too much. Using a bronzer, you definitely do not want a bronzer with shimmer in for this, so I'm going to use the NARS Laguna bronzer. We're just going to um, contour around the face, and this is just going to be a very light dusting. I'm going to take this across the top of the head. and the sides of the nose. I'm just squeezing the brush to make the brush smaller. Down the jawline. Anne's cheeks are really simple. They haven't got a bright product on them for a blush. So I'm going to take a blush by Ben Nye. I'm going to go for this peach one here. And then I'm going to use the Chanel Number no. 4. Um, I'm just going to sweep this just above that contouring that we did. And this will give a natural look to the cheeks. These are naturally a lot darker than mine, so I'm going to fill them in. For this, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in Sable. <coughs> Excuse me and the Chanel number no. 12 brow. I'm going to start by thickening up my brows slightly just taking the product underneath where my brow ends and then I'm also going to take the product through the brow and up at the front here 
Just pushing out some of those hairs, making it a more natural look. Guys, so what I can see from Anne's eyeshadow is that it's it's quite neutral. She hasn't actually got much of a smoky eye going on. It's more um, more of the eyeliner that she's got there. So I am going to use a Daniel Sandler matte shadow for the. Take this on a Mac 217 and dust that all across the lid and right up to the brow bone. This is going to give you a nice clean base. I'm taking a matte shadow in 205 and the Chanel number no. 15 shadow brush. We're just going to create a crease through the eye and we're not going to join this up on the side so you want to be able to see this line here. I'm just going to stop that shadow just in line with the brow, the end of the brow. The Rimmel Eyeliner in Jet Black and this is going to go all the way around the eye so I'm going to start at the outer eye and just creating a small flick that goes just starts just underneath where our crease shadow has stopped. I'm going to drag this across the eye. Then underneath we're going to join up from that top line. And this isn't going to be too thick, but it will be slightly thicker on the outer part of the eye and getting thinner towards the middle, towards the inner. Okay, so that's given us quite a uh, smudgy look to the eye. So now we are going to darken up just along the lash line with the MUA waterproof eyeliner and this is in black. Two thirds across for this and just drag this across the eye and just underneath where we put that flick with the pencil so you want a sharp line that sort of smudges out into the pencil eyeliner Let's take this just on the outer corner down here and join it up to our top eyeliner to the Chanel Inimitable Intense Mascara in black. Coat the top of the lashes before you start underneath. Give a much darker look to the lashes, so then underneath, just combing through. I'm going to want to take a red lip liner and for this I'm just using the side of the pencil so that you get a smudgier effect. And I'm just going to line the whole of the lips. This is a lot pinker than I thought it was actually. The bottom is red. I'm going to take a MAC lipstick in satin red and push this into the we really want a glossy red lip look for this because throughout the majority of the film her lips, her lipstick looks quite Okay everyone here is the finished look. I quite like it actually. It's, um, it was very easy. Do try this look at home and um, be sure to show me on either Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see your results. Um, and I'm also going to ask you just for a little while if you could hold off on some suggestions because I've got a massive list now um, that I'd like to get through for you. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye!